Hi YouTube fans, my name is Gary. I'm going to show you how to paint SS Chevelle wheels. I bought this set off eBay and they did need to be freshened up a little bit. And we'll go through that and I'll show you the procedure and how you can make your wheels look nice. Uh, they don't have to just be SS wheels, you can any type of wheel that you want to refinish. We'll show you some steps to, to uh, help you save money and make them look good. Here's two of the wheels I've already started on and I'll go back and show you in a few minutes uh, from the beginning of uh, how to get your wheels ready to paint. This here is the uh, one of the Chevelle wheels and we have it base color on it which is argent silver for that year of 1970 Chevelle. And that is an argent silver. And then the insert when we're ready to do that is going to be black. On the 1970 Chevelle the inserts are black. I did some research on that. In 69 they were a dark gray and in 70 they did switch out to black. So if anybody is wondering what color they should be for the year of the vehicle, it is black for 70, gray for 69 in the insert area. Also if you bought a set of wheels and you want to have date that are correct for the age of your vehicle, 69 was YA and 70 was AO. So there's two codes that you want to check to make sure if you want to have the correct wheels for your vehicle. Now they I look identical, so that's just something for those people that really want to be or are fanatical and really want to be uh, date coded correct for their cars. This is the first wheel, and the back side of the wheel is dove gray. These wheels were not that bad. I didn't need to sand did not need to sandblast them. In fact, I didn't even want to take the tires off the rim. Uh, it depends about how far you want to go into them. You can uh, have someone take the tires off and you can go down and start from scratch with them and sandblast them if they do need it. These wheels did not need it. Uh, when I bought them for off eBay, the, the gentleman that was selling them said they were 8.5 out of 10 for show quality, which is a pretty good uh, rating. And as I got them, they weren't quite what I wanted them to be. They had some chips and stuff in them and some scratches. so. For me it was best just to sand them down while I had them off and prep them and paint them and make them look nice for this, this spring. Okay we're back and here's the products you'll need to paint your wheels. We've got some silver paint, some clear coat and black paint. And these are duplicolor. I bought these at the local parts store. And also some lacquer there in the back there. You'll need that to help uh, keep, keep the wheels clean before you paint them. High power brake cleaner and some uh, grease and wax remover and then of course we've got the gray backing which is the dove gray for the back of the wheels and we'll use you use all these products uh, you can buy in something similar that works for you it doesn't have to be exactly this type of product and just remember when you're using these products to wear a, ma a mask you should be wearing a paint mask uh, 3m paint masks are do work well you can use a vapor mask or get the full paint mask that they do offer. You can buy those at a parts store or Fleet Farm or one of those places. Uh, they do provide those and you should have those when you're doing any type of painting. If you happen to go on the internet, they do make a template for the insert on these wheels. And uh, you can get them on eBay or you can look on the internet. They do provide those if you decide to use a template. But I chose to make my own template. And what you do did you take a piece of masking tape, which is this, and you cut off a strip and you put it along one of the spokes here. And as you tape, lay the tape down, you take a pencil and you just kind of rub the edges and it leaves a guide on the tape. Then you can take a scissors and cut that out. And once you've cut it out, it's going to look something like this. And once you've done that, of course, you've still got a sticky backing from the tape. And if you take and go, you get some. Uh, uh, wax paper that they use in the kitchen to put the, lay that on the wax paper and then it, it's going to be one piece and then as you've done that then you take another piece of tape and you lay it across the back side of the wax paper and uh, as you've done that you can uh, cut it out again so you have your pattern and then you leave a little bit of edge I'll show you when I start doing this and what it's going to look like so you can peel the one side of the tape back and then transfer it to your wheel. And it really works well. 
And you're going to find that after you're all done, when you've got your black on and your clear coat, that you're going to have some edges that are going to show some black that really sh it shouldn't be there. And as the wheels have dried overnight, you can take some rubbing compound and wipe those edges and that will remove that and you'll get a nice edge back. We're going to start on one of the wheels. And first thing you need to do is you need to prep the wheel. Uh, whoever owned the vehicle before you may have had some uh, tire dressing on that or silicone from Armor All or any type of tire dressing. And that stuff will definitely cause fish eyes. And you do not want fish eyes in your paint because if you do, then you're going to have to start over. So what you're going to need to do is uh, take the brake cleaner and spray the whole wheel. So you can spray. It comes out pretty fast. Spray it all down. And that's going to help get that brake dust out of there and any type of tire dressing. So let that soak a few minutes. Take it rag and wipe that out of there. After you use the brake cleaner on the wheel, the next thing is to use the wax and grease remover. And you just take a rag, saturate with the wax and grease remover and then wipe all that off again. And that's going to make sure you're getting all that wax and grease and silicone, brake dust, everything out of there. Just wipe her down real good. And then after you've done that, take your rag, pour some lacquer thinner on it, and then wipe down the outside of the tire, because that's where your tire dressing and stuff is. And that stuff kind of likes to float around, and you don't want it to get it in your paint. So just go ahead and wipe the wheel down good with that lacquer thinner also. Try not to get too much lacquer thinner in one space on the paint of the wheel. Because it depends upon what type of paint was used on these wheels before, it'll start to lift. And you can see right here where I did do that a little bit and it started to lift the paint. It's not a big deal because we are going to sand this paint off anyway. But if you start seeing some lifting, you know, if you don't want to have to take the wheels all the way down, try not to keep uh, too much lacquer thinner on the rag in, in one place at one time. All right, after you've got it all wiped down, then what you'd take, you get some sandpaper. You can use 320 or 180. I'm using 180 here. And you're going to stuff and sand this panel. And you're stuffing it, getting it all sanded down. And when you're all done sanding it, then go back over with some 320. Something that's a little less grit. This is a little coarser here, and that's what I'm starting with. Get some of these scratches and deep pits out of there and then get those all smoothed out. Then you go back over 320 and do that with the whole wheel. Now re realize this inner area here is going to be hard to sand and they make a product for that. These happen to be uh, pretty smooth. They're not really chipped up and they're too bad but they make a uh, scuffing uh, pad. It's, it's uh, like a, uh, a gridded pad and you can scuff in there like that and that will at least get that paint scuffed up so paint will stick to it when you're, when you're painting it again. But that will work fine. Okay, after you've got the wheel sanded and cleaned out good and then wiped down with lacquer thinner one more time, you go ahead and mask the outside of the wheel off and you just mask it and tuck the masking tape underneath the edge of the wheel as much as you can so you're not going to get any paint on the tire itself. And make sure the masking tape is tucked underneath that rim. That way you won't have any, uh, like say, any overspray showing from when you painted. And we'll finish masking this off and then I'll show you how to paint. We're going to start painting the wheel and we're going to start with our silver. So it will be uh, the base coat of the, of the rim. And you want to sand, you want you want to shake the can up really good. You want to hear the